I learned that when we receive Holy Communion, Jesus is with us. It's nourishment, it helps us survive, and especially here in Hawaii, it, it's a cultural thing. As Hawaiians, kalo for us is something very sacred. So the symbolism of food being life-giving, Jesus is life-giving. Jesus is our food, our spiritual food for our nourishment to carry us through this life and into the next. The kalo, of course, uh, we think of as poi most often, and it had to be ground down. Jesus was ground down by human cruelty, by uh, human sin, and yet he rose up and it gave life rather than death to those who receive him. The kalo does represent Hawaiians, and if you take that, the planting, the oha, the family, how easily it breaks but then regenerates, I think that's, that's a perfect metaphor for the Eucharist. That is uh, the nourishment that Jesus gives us, and a uh, kalo can be a reminder of that wheat that is crushed and those grapes that are crushed so that they can become this food and drink that gives us life. So to receive Jesus in the form of bread is very significant. It, it nourishes us um, spiritually. I think that's really important, and I think they're at a point where they're starting to understand that concept. And it's not only going to nourish them, but it's going to make them hungry. Make them hungry for a deeper relationship with God. Not a magical food, it's a sacred food. It's a kind of food that can help us be our best, to be a better person. It's going to help them bring out the best in them. I think He came to us in the form of bread because He just wants to come in your heart more. Food is so basic to us, we have to be nourished uh, or we die. Once you understand that you are not just receiving bread and wine, but you are being fed and nourished with the body and blood of Jesus Christ, God, the Savior of the world who became a human being. Uh, it is an awesome thing and it will transform you. The body of Christ. I remember wearing a white dress and a beautiful veil and receiving the body of Christ and it tasted like a normal cracker but it wasn't a normal cracker at all. It was the body of Christ. Do this in memory of me. I felt very good. I knew it was the body of Christ and I was blessed. I think the Eucharist is the, is the, center, is the center of our life um, and it kind of holds everything especially as a family, to move forward, to grow. It kind of keeps us um, strong uh, during the, the tough times and, and nourishes us. It's just not something that's conscious, but it's your everyday building of that relationship that comes out in who you are and then shows your kids how to behave or, you know, be. First Communion, First Eucharist is important, but what is more important than that is the Second Communion, the 1,000 Communion. Eucharist is not a one-time event. Eucharist is an event that's recurrent, available to us every day if we want, as a source of energy for our souls. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The bread turns into Jesus' body and the wine turns into his blood. If you say amen, it means I believe and then you believe in God and Jesus Christ. The Bible says he'll always be there for you, and I believe in him, and so he must believe in me. As parents, the best thing we can do for our children is to recall what 
Eucharist means to us. Jesus is within us and we as a family are to be Jesus to the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. We remember what this is all about. This is all about the celebration of our greatest Passover, the greatest Passover of humanity from death to life. We receive the Eucharist only so that we can become Eucharist. We receive the body of Christ so that corporately together we become the body of Christ. So the idea of Eucharist is so connected between the body and blood of Christ and the idea that we are called to wash each other's feet. We are called to serve one another.